I think that what's happening now, what we're seeing is that there's a crisis of faith in government uh, at, at all levels, but in our elected representatives to carry out the will of the people as opposed to the will of their corporate donors. And so people are starting to look towards state ballot initiatives as ways to essentially, you know, have some sort of governance when that role is being abdicated by our elected officials. So I think there's a lot of attention. And I, and I think that the Washington initiative tax initiative that Nathan brought up is actually uh, quite interesting. In many regards, the, uh, the anti-tax crusaders are working in the interest of big businesses, corporations, the wealthy, and they use small, you know, small tax cuts for middle class people uh, as part of a, a sort of a poster child for, you know, uh, cutting corporate taxes and taxes for the wealthy. And the Washington initiative that Nathan talked about actually is an interesting way to approach that by pitting people who are property owners who are very much concerned that their property, you know, especially older people who are likely to vote this year, they're very concerned that the value of their property has gone down and they've had a lot of their wealth tied up in it. And so uh, we'll see if they're able to uh, sort of lure those people at the polls into actually imposing a tax on people who are wealthy, uh, you know, sort of by pitting those two groups against each other.